Most people get it wrong when it comes to getting lean. And it doesn't help that there are millions of different solutions claiming to fix this one problem. And even when they adopt these so-called solutions, they end up getting stuck in this never-ending cycle of gain weight, lose weight, gain, lose, gain, lose, only to be worse off than when they started. But until you shovel through the mountains of information between you and your goal, fail thousands of times, and even then, it's almost impossible to know if you're ever going to achieve a lean body. But that could all change in the next five minutes. So in this video, I'll reveal seven simple yet powerful habits to achieving a lean body fast. And adopting these habits will not only make you far more attractive, but also give you the confidence to unlock your full potential and live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. But to understand the rest of the video, you need to first understand the only two paths to getting lean. I'll explain. With path A, in the first few weeks or even months, every action leads to a result. You get leaner with each day, and it's like brushing your teeth. It feels easy. Come six to 12 months later, it feels hard, like you're having to overcome something that seems impossible. You can barely see the goal as if you're standing at the base of Mount Everest. Your results go in a cycle like motion. When you see progress, you feel motivated and excited. You feel like letting the whole world know. But when progress slows down or stops, it feels like the world is against you. Nothing is working. This is the path you go down when you simply go through a laundry list of so-called solutions, quick fixes, or try every hack in the book. But the smarter, more guaranteed path to a lean body is path B. And it's going to seem hard at first, but don't be fooled. This is the path where the bulk of your results are seen after weeks or months. It's like doing a two hour weekly meal prep. It feels a little hard and tedious at first, but you get used to it and it becomes part of your routine and lifestyle. But after six to 12 months or even sooner, the progress feels like going up a set of stairs. From the bottom, you can see the top. You see weekly progress, and at times daily progress. You feel motivated and excited to keep going. You feel unstoppable, and the leanest version of yourself is getting closer and closer with each day. And that's what I've come to realize over the past decade of staying lean. People often see getting lean as a goal, or having to restrict your life just to maintain this one thing. And of course, we all want to see results after each workout or meal. But there's no shortcuts in life, especially with things that most guys dream about having. So it's not about hacking your way there. Understand that getting lean is simply a product of the lifestyle and the habits that you adopt and master over time. That's quite literally the smartest way to get lean. Not taking fat loss shakes, give up and then say you want to bulk because that's easier. Instead, there are seven simple habits that led me to getting and staying lean for over the past 10 years. And I honestly believe that even adopting just one of these will massively transform not only your body, but also your health and mind. Habit number one is to stand your ground. Oftentimes you'll have people telling you what to do and what not to do. Like, why are you cutting out so much fat? But why let others dictate what you should and shouldn't eat or do, especially if they don't have what you want? So stay true to your values of improving your health and body by saying no more often. This often leads to faster results because it reminds yourself as to why you're going through all this effort to make positive changes in your life, and it even reinforces your actions and decisions that might seem a little extreme at first. Habit number two is to silence the inner devil. Oftentimes when you see a pack of chips on sale, you're tempted, and I was for a long time. Temptation is everywhere. But think, what would your future lean self say to you now? When you wake up tomorrow, will you even regret not buying that snack? Think about how you're going to feel after consuming that thing versus how you actually want to feel. When you understand that we're just naturally greedy and we want a quick dopamine hit, then getting lean becomes a lot easier. In other words, you'll make better decisions that actually benefit you in every way by talking to your future self. Habit number three is to eat more, not less. There's so much misinformation on the internet, like what diet is best or whatever. But really, just like stripping back the layers of the onion, you soon realize it's only just an onion. In other words, it's a lot simpler than you once thought. Understand that eating a diet containing mostly processed foods will result in things like lower energy levels, mind fog, lower motivation, and therefore bad decisions with food. The alternative is to eat a mostly whole food based diet. These are foods that are lower in calories but higher in nutrition. Not only will your body get leaner, but you also have more steady levels of energy throughout the day. So you'll also be able to eat a larger volume of food and feel fuller for longer. Habit number four is to move the needle, not your body. I say this all the time, but by no means am I perfect. 
And oftentimes people will be super excited to tell me how they've lost, let's say, five pounds in two weeks. And I'm like, cool. Obviously they're telling me because they feel good, but usually I never hear from them again. And it's because they struggled to continue losing weight. And as they say, you can't outwork a bad diet, even if you run for 30 minutes every day. It's like trying to clean your hair with mud water. In other words, you're not going to make noticeable progress towards your goal of getting lean if your diet remains the same. So think, what can you do today to move the needle? Habit number five is to take only what you need. More often than not, we take on more than we can handle, whether it's food, people or pressure. But what you'll come to realize is that when it comes to food, the reason you give in to temptation is because you've got too much on your plate. It's why on days when you're more relaxed, you tend to make better decisions with food and in life. So it's not just your diet making you fat, it's everything else in your life too. Your job, your friends, your family, your thoughts, and your environment. The biggest change will come when you remove the fat from your life. Over time, your body will begin to reflect that. Habit number six is to attack the root, not the surface. Imagine trying to fix an ongoing problem in your relationship. It's an argument that happens every week, and it just never gets resolved. And every time it happens, you buy your partner flowers as a way of apologizing. It's like putting a band-aid on an ever-growing wound. And just like with getting lean, people will often resort to quick fixes like protein and fat loss shakes and strict diets. They're simply band-aiding the problem. It's the same in relationships and in life. Rather than attacking the surface, look for the root of the problem and attack that instead. The result will be a far more effective fat loss. Last but not least, habit number seven is to aim a little higher. When it comes to getting lean, a lot of people think they need to flip their world upside down and fully renovate their lives. This usually results in regaining all the weight they'd previously lost. This happens because the diet was far too restrictive or they went from zero to six workouts a week overnight. Instead, each day or each week, try aiming for one more rep lift a slightly heavier weight, run a little further than you last did, eat one more healthy meal than last week, and so forth. Over time, you'll find that you can sustain the change you're trying to make, and that your goal of getting lean is actually really achievable. Tiny actions lead to insane results over time. So these are the seven habits that represent the smartest way to get lean. Of course, there may be more, but start with one and slowly add another tool to your toolbox. And over time, Watch your body, health, and mind transform. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to keep in touch, make sure to subscribe to both the channel and the newsletter. Links below. Bye. Testing. Hello, 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 hello.